Hi, I'm Bart Herbison, Executive Director of the Nashville Songwriters Association, and this week for the Nashville Tennessean, the story behind the song, She Thinks My Tractor's Sexy, Mr. Jim Collins. Welcome. Yes, to I'm the one. Well, let's go. Let's see. <laughs> Nancy Ferguson, Alice Chalmers, John Deere, because we'll talk about the second tractor song in a minute. But okay. This is what started it, and I love the way this song was born. You and Paul Overstreet. Yeah. What happened? Well, um... We, uh, Paul and I used to be neighbors or, you know, we lived pretty close to each other and we actually had a, we were writing that day with another writer, I won't name his name, uh, and you'll find that in a minute, but, uh, uh, Paul was telling us the story about how he, uh, his tractor broke down and he had to go get a part for this, this tractor and, uh, he has six children and so his wife asked him, would it be okay if I ride along with you? And so uh, he said, yeah, come on. And so they get in the car, and he was saying all the way to the tractor place, the uh, John Deere place, he said that uh, she was kissing on his neck, and he was about to wreck the car, you know. And she, and, and, uh, and uh, we started laughing, and I, I, I can't remember. I think I said, uh, well, I guess she thought your tractor was sexy. And I, we got a big laugh out of that, and we said, I said, let's write that. Let's write That's a song, you know. And. And the other guy that was with us that day, he goes, oh, that's stupid. I don't want to write that, you know. And so we wind up writing this real heavy song about, you know, some grandpa dying and the family around the bed and everything. And the minute he left, I said, I looked at Paul and I said, let's write that other. <laughs> and so we did. And, uh, and I have to say, I mean, it was a silly idea. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, or when we first started writing it, I never dreamed anybody would ever you know cut it but i knew i liked it and and i and we wrote it just from fun and uh and i think it must have come through in the song and and hey let's face it where i'm from she thinks my tractor sexy is a love song you well, know I'll where i come from correctly. you know nacogdoches nacogdoches that's right nacogdoches texas you know jim from the first day i met you you're one of my favorite performing songwriters you're one of my favorite artists thank you, I know you thank you the record deal thing never quite happened from you we're both elvis fans <laughs> I, I, I hear a little bit of that in the groove in that song. Da, 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 yeah, it's got a little of that hunk of burning love kind of thing, you know. You know, hunk of burning love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, did it happen quick? Did you have to come back? Yeah, and finish honestly, it? no. We it, we wrote it in forty five minutes. <laughs> uh, I used to get teased. I have a lot of songwriters who are real, you know, serious artists, you know. And I had this one come up to me, and he goes, "You know, Jim." He says, "I don't get." It. He says, "I come in every day." And I write, I try to pour my heart and soul in there for song. He said, I leave blood on that page. And then you come in in 45 minutes and write a tractor song and sell a gazillion records, you know. And and I uh, say, well, you know. And I know you, you, you're you known for that song, but a lot of others, because you've written some of the most moving songs in my lifetime. Then they do. And I mean, I could start naming all your songs. Yeah, the good you, stuff. You, mm. The good stuff, just on and on and on. But... I'll always be the tractor guy. Because here came another one not long ago. Yeah, I did. Green so, tractor. yeah, uh, 13 years later, after uh, She Thinks My Tractor's Sexy, I was writing one day with David Lee Murphy, and he came in. He goes, hey, man, you wouldn't be willing to write another tractor song, would you? And I said, gosh, I don't know. I said, you think the world's ready for another one? He goes, yeah, I think they are. And so I said, well, as long as it's not the same kind of thing, you know, and so... We came up with a big green tractor, and then, of course, it was a big number one song on uh, on uh, Jason Aldean, you know. Do you know, thir 12 years from now, you got to go for the trifecta? Well, I got an idea for one Ooh. already, yeah. You know, uh, it's, it's called, uh, he's got the tractor factor. <laughs> yeah. got, Don't give it away. Yeah, you know what? No, I, I'll uh, come up with something. But um, I would think that one of the companies would have just given you it. Man, I can't even get a ball cap from John Deere. I swear, I'm going to have to work on that. Somebody needs to call him and get, well, you know. gums off camera over here. We're buying him a John uh, Deere. We're going to yeah. buy him a ball cap. You know, you think a lawnmower or something, you know. Have you but, ever driven a tractor? Oh, I was raised on a dairy farm. You know, it's funny when Big Green Tractor came out. I got this phone call from uh, Phil O'Donnell, who's a big producer here in town and a song, great songwriter, and he called me up and he goes, I bet you've never even been on a tractor. <laughs> and I told him I grew up on a dairy farm. We had a lot of tractors, and I did do a lot of that. So he said, well, I feel better about it already. You know. Well, one of the best, and the story behind the song this week, 
She thinks my tractor's sexy. We're going to hear a verse in the chorus. All right. Jim if I can remember it. All right, here we go. Plowing these fields in a hot summer sun Over by the gate, Lordy, here she comes With a basket full of chicken and a big old jug of sweet tea I make a little room and she climbs on up I open up the throttle and stir a little dust Just look at her face, she ain't fooling me she thinks my tractor's sexy It really turns her on She's always staring